All right, hey everyone, this is Bettina. Back with the uh, 1010 Music synth box. The bit box with the synth box firmware. It's the beta version. Um, the last thing I'd like to cover for you uh, is just the kind of built-in delay to help shape your sound of the oscillators of the synth. So, as we look at the main screen here, uh, I have the violin sound, as you can see up here, number 30, on the included presets there. And if we click on this button, the FLDS, um, we have full, uh, flanger, uh, distortion, feedback, um, flanger and its rate, distortion and its feedback. We also have a delay button here, so you have your delay time, your amount, the feedback, and if it's trigger on or gate gate on there. So let's, um, let's go back. Home takes you to the menu. Press on this FLDS button here. And let's start with flanger. So here's our here's our sound. I've got the rate all the way up to 100%. Make it real evident here. I'll start bringing up the flanger. Almost uh, like ring mod. There we go. Bring it down a little slower. Get some almost like a chorus effect. Even slower. So almost about twenty percent here. Get some nice effect over time, especially in a longer sequence. Maybe we'll back that off just a little bit, about 60%. And we'll introduce some distortion over here. Some nice distorted tones. And you can mess uh, with the feedback here as well. Also mentioned you can go into the negatives here in the feedback. Bring up some more distortion. It's just messing with the flanger rate. So now that we like that sound, or we could even go into uh, our filter we learned in a previous video, mess with the uh, cutoff, adjust that. Pretty mean uh, lead sound there. Hit the home button, go back, and let's take a look at the uh, delay settings. So right now I have the amount to zero, set, uh, set to an eighth, a dotted eighth. Go ahead and increase the amount there. Very nice, really fills up fills up the space. Of course you can adjust uh, feedback. Let's bring that all the way down. Start slowly bringing that back up. here. Just keeps going. Increase the amount. There we go. Increase the amount a little bit more. Probably start getting some feedback here. So lower that. Increase the amount to about 75, and then we'll try some of these different to play, uh, time settings. Good quarter notes. There we go. So you can go all the way up 
into one bar with a stretch them out. And sixteenths. Ace. All the way up to one sixty fourth. Almost to the uh, car plus strong here. Let's do one thirty seconds. Pretty cool, very flexible. Go back here to our filter. Back out to home. Look at our settings again. Maybe we'll take the flanger all the way down. And just listen to distortion and delay. And go ahead and remove our distortion, get an idea of what we started with, with a little bit of delay. So there's the violin, no distortion, no flanger, a little bit of delay. There we go. We'll go ahead and decrease our amount. Here's your dry signal again. Home button, and we're back. So I hope this helps. Once again, this is the 1010 Music Bitbox with the Synthbox alternate uh, firmware. Just loaded on this little micro SD card, so you can s quickly switch them out. Excellent module. Um, you could, uh, depending on the firmware, have a sampler, have an effects box. Um, or you can have multiple effects on at the same time and sequence those. And then this is the synth box, which gives you a whole synth voice. It's very, very cool. So I hope this is helpful. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and all that jazz. And uh, thanks to uh, our cats and my lovely wife for uh, helping with this video. This is my first uh, YouTube series, so I uh, appreciate any feedback and comments, and uh, if you'd like to see more. So appreciate it. Thank you, and uh, enjoy.